a movie. Let's head now this morning to the uh, editorial coordinator and film critic for HollywoodChicago.com. Patrick McDonald is back with us. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Hello. Good morning, Scott. Be safe, be healthy. It's a land of pure imagination. Let's go to the movies. Let's talk about uh, the first one here that you reviewed, Freud's Last Session. Tell us about that. Yes. Freud's Last Session in select theaters since December 22nd, opening in more theaters tomorrow, January 5th. See local listings. Now, this was a surprisingly different fictional story based on a play about the last days of Sigmund Freud, Anthony Hopkins, who died in London in 1939. The main action takes place in Freud's London office just as World War II is beginning for England as he reluctantly keeps an appointment with academic C.S. Lewis, Matthew Good, who in the future will be a famous theologian and creator for the Chronicles of Narnia. As the radio gives news of impending attacks, the two philosophers debate the existence of God and what life means. In the midst of this all-day interaction, the war invades through air raid sirens, uh, and Freud's academic daughter, Anna, Lisa Fries, fretting about her father while lecturing in a university. Freud, in the meantime, reveals that he is dying of oral cancer, which, which escalates the discussion to a new level. Now, Scott, don't let the academic basis or lofty, sub, lofty subject matter dissuade you from seeing this film. It's perfectly accessible due to the passionate performances of Anthony Hopkins and Matthew Good. They deliver the sometimes complex themes with the simplicity and grace that makes all of it very clear. The old lion Hopkins still roars, and their Brit actor Good has always been underrated. Also, director Matthew Brown uses symbolism and flashbacks to elaborate the two-person drama. The film is actually beautiful in its use of expansive cinema. This is obviously not for everybody, but uh, if you have any interest in Freud or C.S. Lewis, this is a must-see. Freud's last session, four and a half out of five in select theaters and more starting tomorrow, January 5th. There we go. Four and a half out of five, close to perfect score. Anthony Hopkins, uh, he's just uh, tremendous, isn't he? He's amazing, and he takes a character that we know, Sigmund Freud, and just imbues it with a little bit more. So I think people would really, if you like Anthony Hopkins, too, this is another great one. 